What is up, Light Fam? It is David, your spiritual awakening coach, here to help you through your spiritual awakening. After the success of my last video, Three Things the Universe Wants You to Know for 2023, I thought it was time to make a part two because there are many more than just three things that the universe wants you to know. So let's do three things the universe wants you to know, Duzian Parti, or part two. <laughs> right now, let's go. The first thing the universe wants you to know for 2023 is that you're on the right path. You can't get it wrong, Light Fam. Remember, the compass of your heart is set toward your intention for this lifetime. You had a particular intention before you decided to incarnate, and the compass of your heart is set toward that intention or toward that life purpose. So whenever you feel vibrational dissonance or discomfort in your life, there's a lot of turmoil. It just simply means that you're further off of the path of the reason that you intended to incarnate, which usually means that there's some discord between the heart and the head, love and ego. But it's okay if you're on the path that is out of alignment with your heart at the minute, because you have to know what is the wrong path or the path that you don't want so that you have a greater appreciation and understanding of what the path is that you actually do want, the path that's in alignment for your heart. So I always say the universe is like a big GPS system. You know, if, if you're not on the right path, it can keep rerouting you. So let's say that you have taken a corporate job that you hate, but your ego said that you needed to take it for whatever reason to survive or to make your family happy or be respected in your culture and be respected in society, but it's just not what your heart wants. Well, the universe is going to give you an opportunity to keep rerouting to get you in alignment with the route that's in alignment with your heart. Maybe they cut your hours. Maybe there's a lot of drama and stress. Uh, maybe they lay you off for a minute and give you a little time to reflect if you're on the right path. Or maybe you're in uh, that toxic relationship and you just can't stand being in that situation any longer. It used to serve a purpose of maybe soothing that unhealed trauma or soothing that abandonment trauma, but now it's gotten to the point to where you just can't go on any further. Well, the universe is giving you an opportunity to get into alignment with what your heart wants, the trajectory that your heart wants to go. So the universe is going to keep giving you opportunities to get back on the right path. Hey, take this exit or emerge here or go to this street and then make a U-turn. <laughs> so you're always going to be redirected and given another chance to get on the right path. So if you feel that you're not on the right path, instead of feeling stress about that, take it as a good thing because now you can stop and say, well, what do I want? What path do I want to take? And then what would be some action steps, even if they're baby steps to get in the direction that my heart wants to go. And the second thing the universe wants you to know for 2023 is let go of your past. <laughs> so many people hold on to the past and that anchors them on their current timeline. They can't move forward. They're stuck in frustration because they won't let go of the past. Well, Light Fam, I'm here to tell you there's a reason that the rear view mirror is this big and the windshield is this big because it's much more important where you're going, not where you've been. Your past was an experience, something to learn from, but it's certainly not something that needs to define you, especially in the present moment. And it certainly doesn't need to define your future. Maybe that past was relationships that were initiated from a disempowered state and you don't want to let that go. Well, if you don't let those relationships go, you're not going to be open to a relationship that now you're able to initiate from an empowered state, from a place of healed trauma, wholeness, completeness, where you are identifying as love itself. You're not trying to get love or earn love from someone else. That's a completely different frequency. That's not a trauma bonding frequency. That's a wholeness and completeness frequency where you're attracting other people that are also healed and not trying to get something from you. Or uh, maybe you left 
an old job in the past where, you know, you really felt you were making a lot of money, but your heart wasn't really in it. Well, now you've got the opportunity to let that go, but only if you let that go and make the energetic space in your field to find something that does resonate with your heart, it may be even more abundant. But you've got to make the energetic space in your current field by letting go of what is hogging up all of that energetic space, the things that no longer serve. A lot of times we don't let go of our past or we don't let go of things that no longer serve because our ego believes it's a threat to survival. But it's not. Show your ego that you can let those things go and still be alive. You didn't die. Hey, you let that toxic relationship go. <laughs> you know, you, you, you cut the cord and you're still alive. And now you have room for something that is fulfilling. So don't allow your past to keep you stuck and stymied on your current timeline. The main motive of the universe is expansion, movement forward. You can't move forward. The universe can't express itself through and as you, if you're not moving forward, if you're in a stuck, stagnant, closed off resistance state because you're holding on to the past. Stop doing that. So let go of what no longer serves so that there's room for what does serve. Now, before we get on to the third thing the universe wants you to know for 2023, if you're finding value in the content, please click the subscribe button. Let the algorithm know that you like what we're doing over here at Lightways. If you know anyone that needs to be empowered, they need some encouragement, they need to find their power and sovereignty, please share this video with them as well. Now back to the video. And the third thing the universe wants you to know for 2023 is challenges do not show up to punish you. No, they show up to level you up because you intended to go higher on your timeline than where you currently are. And typically those challenges have a recurring theme. Once you heal the recurring theme of those challenges, that will level you up to the higher timeline that you intended to live before you decided to incarnate. You see, there's a lot of people in the spiritual community, myself included, that believe that you had a particular intention before you decided to incarnate what you wanted to learn through. Well, how do you learn? Heal through the opposite of what you're wanting to learn. You can't know what something is without healing through the opposite of it. So if you chose to incarnate and you chose what you wanted to learn and experience, wouldn't it also make sense that you chose your challenges? Let's think about that. What if those challenges were handpicked by you at a particular point on your timeline before you decided to incarnate so that you could heal through the opposite frequency of where you wanted to get to? You know, if we take a different look at this, let's Let's look at the hermetic principle of polarity, for example. So you've got, your, you've got your life purpose and you've got the opposite of your life purpose on the same frequency. It's the same frequency. They're just opposite degrees of the same frequency. This is called the principle of polarity. Well, unhealed trauma is in alignment with the opposite of your, your life purpose. Healed trauma is in alignment with your life purpose. So as soon as you start to slide that scale from unhealed to healed, you get more in alignment with your life purpose. So maybe you had to learn your worth by healing through being unworthy. Maybe you had to learn your sovereignty and completeness and learn that you're never alone by healing through the fear of abandonment. And once you heal the trauma that makes you believe that you're not whole, perfect, and complete, which you are because your source having a physical experience, then you're able to live your life purpose because there's no longer a fear of expression. Fear is the barrier to expression. So previously with unhealed trauma, maybe you were scared to express your authentic truth. Maybe you were chasing validation. You were worried that you weren't going to get approved or you were people pleasing. Well, it's only after you heal through that and learn that all of that is just lies of the false self, then you actually step into your life purpose. So don't think that 
healed trauma and unhealed trauma are two different frequencies or what you're doing now, if there's a lot of vibrational dissonance is completely different, a separate frequency from living your life purpose. It's the same frequency, just two opposite polarities. So this is the principle of polarity. So you just want to slide that scale over to living your life purpose by healing trauma. So that's a different way to look at your challenges. If you look at your challenges as though you preordained those challenges before you decided to incarnate, now all of a sudden those challenges, they don't seem like an enemy or that they're there to punish you. They are stepping stones to get to where you always intended to be for this particular lifetime. The three things the universe wants you to know for 2023 is number one, you're on the right path. Number two, let go of your past. And number three, challenges do not show up to punish you, but to level you up to where you always intended to go. <laughs> I love you guys. I will see all of you in the next video. Namaste.